Welcome to Acting, presented by Registry Partners. The are to help act as efficiently as possible using your desk setup and office space. Develop organization of the abstracts. Tips for medical records and registry systems efficiently. And of text and when to complete it. Desk setup. Are the paper in easy reach? You can also use when possible. For example, the CS, the Fords, and the multiple primary and histology rules. Are for ease of finding the correct manual and the correct site within the manual. For example, you can relate the AJCC manual with the common sites. For example, breast, colon, and lung are sites to mark for ease of finding. You can utilize electronic post-its and highlighting in the PDF version of four in the multiple primary and histology rules. Are you with an easy line of sight? Often, maybe, are the chemotherapy drugs that changed to immunotherapy in 2013, class of case definitions from Ford's, and your ambulance terms from Ford's NCS. We highly recommend dual monitors because you can have the electronic medical system on one and the system on the other, and they reduce toggling from one system to is ready to use? Are the ink and paper filled and is connected to your PC? With more than one computer, it has apps. When you to the electronic medical records, it blocks your internet access, which also blocks your access to sites of CRRX, the forum, and sync. This is an example of when another computer would be an excellent idea if that are unable to bring up the registry software and the EMR at the same time. If this happens, another computer will allow you to have them both up at the same time. The space. Is it, are there going to be multiple interruptions? Try to work every day. Set aside is usually quiet or when minimal eruptions will occur. Maybe hour early in the morning. Morning. Office space. Do you into the thought that, that it is time to work and it gets you at work mode? Ask not to disturb you during the scheduled work hours or make those interruptions minimal. Are options that could be minimized? Can another care for younger children or maybe plan to care? Ensuring space. And a system that is dedicated to work will ensure efficient abstracting. Next, with organization. Think list for abstraction. Now what? Unless you manager to complete certain cases first, you can complete cases of the same site first. It allows you to pull up your manuals on that site without having to switch between sites. For example, if July 2014 cases are assigned to you, you can group them by site and abstract one site at a time. This allows you to get familiar with that primary site. What are the symptoms of this? The up and the treatment. What are the ideas for the primary tumor spread? What are the notes for this site? And what are the most common metastatic sites? This is with this one site and it prevents you from moving from manual to manual and trying these sites. You to get familiar with the treating physician. They're likely to be the same or a smaller group of physicians, thereby allowing familiarity with the notes and the physician names that need to be placed in the abstract. You can see the CS, the multiple primary manual, and the NCC and guidelines to the site being abstracted, saving flipping back and forth. Full resources or websites. For example, the SYNC. The CREX and NACE are approved abbreviations. Think of complete the case. This is a non-analytic case that can be completed without requests for information. Complete cases during times of greatest mental acuity. 
For example, during, are you a morning person or night owl? Maybe completing that head case if you're a morning person is not the best idea. Finally, begin abstracting. Case for list for abstraction. And to all your electronic medical record systems and registry software. Check the free database first for the case to ensure it has not already been abstracted. This may mean, especially if the patient has more than one primary or if other staff members are also abstracting. This saves you time reviewing the electronic medical record if the case is already completed. One system first. Does it take to open a system? Then in the start in the quicker system records. If you start it, mark the suspense list etch and complete it during the next work day. There's that cases do not get do not do the cracks or or in incomplete. Abstract registry software if possible. Avoid paper abstraction when at all possible, as this does slow down abstracting efficiently. And then move to coding. This allows you to review all the notes in the ER and make corrections to the text and decrease the need to correct coding fields as new information is read. If the ready access at the same time, open the document and type the text or copy and paste from the EMR, if possible, into the Word document. Document. You can then and paste into the registry system later. If this is cleaned up before transferring into the registry system. For example, remove the unnecessary spaces or punctuation for each field. Have your men so that you can access the instruction for a field if it's not clear to you. If you have fields to complete in the abstract. You can ask a manager or another coworker for an example case to follow. System. One. Most important to review first. What is in each system? No system has which information can help you abstract more efficiently by reviewing that system first. Is there in between these systems that can be? Be skipped in that system if the first system has already been reviewed? If so, are using these systems? For example, you may use the hospital's elect records first and then open the radiation oncology records to see if there's any new or different information in that record. To set up by visit or service type. If this is it, Beginning the first visit around the time of diagnosis. You can check for physician notes, pathology, and or radiology first. If an old visit would contain the first workup, move to that visit and work your way to the to the visit to minimize skipping around. The system is arranged by service type, radiology first, and text any pertinent pathology while making notes regarding tumor extension, lymph nodes, and metastatic disease. Review theology and again complete the text with pertinent findings. Reports, text for top patient findings during the procedure and any scopes that may have been performed. Medical and radiation oncology notes. These notes usually contain the best information pertinent to the cancer without information regarding the patient's other comorbidities. HMPs or discharge summary for further information. First of all, the HMP may have some social history or family history that might need to be collected. Another thing to look at is your lab findings for tumor markers and other lab work that might be pertinent to the cancer. For example, if you have LDH for melanomas. Now, how are you organized? The first part really gives a presentation of the patient, the age, and some social information. Consult. Review the physical exam for pertinent physical exam findings. And remember, only pertinent information needs to be documented. The site area, lymph nodes, and any metastatic nodules or areas. 
for example, for a prostate case, the location of the DRE and findings from that DRE would be in this location. So the note usually contains the staging and impression as well as treatment plan information. Many files are cut and pasted with only small details added. So the back the first part of the note for any new symptoms or complaints in that follow-up. Then into the note to see if the impression or treatment plan has changed from the first consult. Then reread the entire note if most of the information was contained in that first consultation. How much is too little or too much? Basically, yourself could subtract my case from my text. If the answer is then you have enough text. Record the excuse me to the cancer only. The fact that degenerative changes in the spine is probably not pertinent to a colon cancer case. Finding does not have to be documented. For example, if a chest CT states no evidence of adenopathy or metastatic disease in the chest, you do not need to list all of the sites the CT mentions, such as hilar nodes, medial nodes negative, superclavicular nodes negative. We can just state there's no adenopathy. Deviations and memorize the most common ones. This will help when texting. I do not have to type out as much. And if you have the common ones, it will almost become second nature to use those. And texting. Think of a story while you're reading the EMR. The patient present. What was that was performed? How were they diagnosed? Physical notes about the presentation, the tumor extension, treatment plan, and stage that will be later in the abstract. This way to go back and find that note where you get that information. Things and AJCC will be coded while texting. The passion will affect the CS and the So think that will affect that while you're texting the pathology. How did? So if the patient has had surgery. Well, okay. Is it in endoscopic, laparoscopic, robotic, where lymph nodes are removed, where sites biopsy? This one you need to code the search performed. Think about your questions. If you have questions that you can't find the answer to, you need to be specific and you need your manager or a coworker to review you. Of course, such as preview abstract number for me. That the person reviewing the abstract may skip over or may not even think of the information that you really need them to look at. Per which abstract? What? Need help on the extension? Where? See the April 2014 counter and view the 401 2000 path and 320 PET scan. This allows you to see exactly what you're questioning and where to locate those documents. Not clear the edits, please notify the manager or registry software for help. You have through each and every piece abstract to try to determine why the edit was there. Someone encountered this edit and can show you exactly why you're getting this an edit. And ensure that you use secure methods of communication. For example, if using email, remember the session number and medical record number are considered identifiable PHI, so this should be placed in a secure email. We have helped you become efficient in your abstracting and given you some tips for this. Remember to ask an office space so that it's easy to reach your manuals and see your quick reference guides. as possible to minimize flipping through the manual. Your systems if possible and know which system to review first. Use text first and think about the case while texting into the registry system so that the coding will be faster. 
be specific in your questions if you do have questions. This will not only you to be more efficient, but the person in your abstract. We hope that you find this presentation helpful and you'll have some new tips and if that will help you abstract more efficiently. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.